Hey everyone, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to get some uh, Sentinel or Landsat images and then you can use them in Envy. So if you go to the uh, USGS uh, website, you can first put in a place, for example, I can put in something like Sydney. And if I hit show, I can find the location. And then all I have to do is just put in uh, anywhere between two dates, so a range of two dates. And then what I have to do is I have to go to uh, data sets, and then I want to bring down uh, Landsat, and I can bring down level two, which is the better quality, and you can also bring down uh, Sentinel as well. And then when you have these two things, um, assuming you're first logged in, you can add these uh, few things, and then you can go to results, and then you can find a bunch of these things, and then all you have to do is just go to order scene, and then again, assuming you're logged in, uh, you can order them, and then they'll go to your email. And when they go to your email, you'll get like a table with like a link, and assuming it's been approved, which usually takes like 10 minutes after you get the initial message, you'll have a document something, something like this. And uh, when you go to this, uh, you'll be able to scroll all the way down to download. And when you download this, you'll get a zip file, which will give you a bunch of, um, a bunch of JP2 type files. So if I just select all these, you just do file open to bring them all in, and you just open them all up. And then as soon as you do that, um, you'll realize that every single one of these JP2s is a image of the same area, but in a different wavelength. So you just want to go down to, um, uh, you just want to go down to under radiometric correction, and then you want to find, oh, uh, turn this one off, that's not correct. Uh, underneath radiometric, oh, sorry, not under radiometric, under raster management, you will then find IDL and then layer stacking. Uh, but just before you use that, you have to um, make sure that all these are corrected. So if I tried to do layer stacking to begin with, and I tried to import uh, all of these, and OK, you'll say um, the input file must be georeferenced. In order to do this, you just, you just have to um, right click on each and every single one of these gray ones. Uh, each of these is a different color. So for example, uh, this is B12, B11, B10. These means bands. So band one, I would assume is blue. So you have blue, green, red, near infrared, blah, 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 all the way up. So we'll do band one first. Make sure that you do these in order. So you just want to go to right click, view metadata, and then just edit metadata. Wait for this to come up. And then all you have to do is just hit OK. And so what this will do is it'll georeference the image for you. So just hit OK. and then it'll be moved up to the top. So this image is now georeferenced correctly. And so you wanna do this for each of them. And then once you've done it for all of them, I'll just do one more. Metadata, edit metadata. Okay. So assuming that I've done all of them, which you have to do, you can then go over to IDL and then layer stacking. Just wait for this to load. Layer stacking. And then you can just import your two that you did. Uh, so one and two should both be finished. Yep, okay. Uh, so you'll see that it now works. And then you can just um, output this to some location. I'll just do to memory. And then you just hit okay. And it'll, what layer stacking is, it gets all the different band layers. So blue, green, red, blah, 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 blah. And it puts them all into one image. So then once you have that, you now have a image which you've downloaded you've georeferenced, you've put all the colors together, and now you can just do regular classification and uh, radiometric corrections. Um, yeah, because this itself is essentially geometric corrections without using ground control points. So yeah, that's how you do that. And I hope you guys have learned something. And actually, I'm curious what these two will come out as. Okay, so it comes out as like a grayscale. Um, but if you do all them together, then you'll get a colored image.